Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. But there's a twist. But there's a twist. You don't have to read from the uh, book you are having, but you have to read some tongue twisters. Okay? So, who will read this tongue twister? Ma'am, I will read. Okay. Which one, ma'am? The first one. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled papers. A pack of pickled papers, Peter Piper picked it, Peter. Where it is, ma'am? Uh, just a minute. So we are doing tongue twisters. Hmm. You can start reading now. Can you see now? Ah, uh, now is it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, please start. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled papers. A pack. Pack of pickled papers. Peter Piper papers. picked. Peter Piper picked the pack of pickled papers. Where's it's the pack of wait, pickled wait, wait, papers? Wait, 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 wait. It's not papers. Peppers. 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 Okay. Peppers. Okay. Let me read it once. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled papers. A pack of pickled papers. Peter picked. Uh, Peter Pe Pe Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled papers, what? Where's the pack of pickled papers? Peter. Piper picked. Piper picked. Okay, who will try? I'm me. May Next. I? Okay, Neetu, you no, have. Neetu, you have to read the second tongue twister. Batty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter is bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. But a bit of batter butter will make my batter better. So, twas better. Batty Butter bought a bit of batter butter. Very good. Next, who will read the third one? May, May I? May I? Okay, Divya. How much would how much would would uh would a uh, woodchuck chuck if a uh, woodchuck would chuck would he would chuck he would as much as he could and chuck as much as much wood as he would chuck would if a wood chuck could chuck wood. Very good. Who will read the next one? May, May I? I? May I? Please tell your name. Suji, ma'am. Young, ma'am. Okay, Suji, you have to read the fourth one, but you have to read it five times. Okay? Okay, ma'am. She sells seashells by the seashore. You have to read the sentence five times because it's the small, just one sentence. So you have to repeat it five times. Start. Okay, ma'am. She sells, she sells by the seashore. 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 Okay. Next, who will read? Ma'am, may I? Jankna. Okay, Zankana. Uh, you have to read the, the fifth one and you have to repeat it. You have to uh, speak five times, okay? Hmm. Read it five How, times. Okay. How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? How can a clam cream in a clean cream can? Clam cram. It's clam cram. How can a clam, clam. in a clean huh. cream can? How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? How can a clam clam cram in a clean cream can? Uh, how can a clam cram in a clean cream can? Uh, Ma'am, ho gaya five times. Yeah. Next, who will read? Ma'am, may Ma I? Padmavati. Okay. Padmavati. Yes. Ice cream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. Ice cream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Very good. 
Okay, next who will read? Should I? I? Please tell the name. Megha. I'm Neetu. Okay, Neetu. Uh, wait, is there anyone who has not got the chance till now? And wants to... Ma'am, Bhumika. Okay, Bhumika. Ma'am, seventh one, right? Yes. Rest of you, I... put yourself on mute. I saw Suzy sitting in a shoe shine shop. I saw Suzy sitting in a shoe shine shop. I saw Suzy sitting in a shoe shine shop. I saw Suzy sitting in a shoe shine shop. You are I saw wonderful. I saw Suzy si sitting in a shoe shine shop. Very good. Very good. Next, the, those who haven't got any chance. Those who haven't got any chance. Sanjay, um, yes. Deepa. Okay. Deepa. Ha. Yes, ma'am. Eight one na. Eight wala na. Yes. Uh, Suzy works in shoe uh, shoe shine shop where she shines. She sits and where she sits, she shines. Suzy works in a shoe shine shop where she shines. She sits and where she sits, she shines. Suzy works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Suzy works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Suzy works in a shoe sh shoe sh shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Wonderful, ma'am. May I try? Wonderfully, uh, and everyone should read because you're not mute. Mute. Wait, because everyone is on mute, so I want everyone to read. Keeping it on mute, you all can read, okay? So I'm giving the chance to someone who hasn't read yet. Is there anyone? Ma'am, may I? Hey, Ma Saluja. Uh, Saluja, is there? Tanuja, yes, Tanuja. <laughs> Rest of you, please mute and then you yeah, read out aloud. Everyone should read. Keeping yourself on mute, you should try reading, okay? I'm also doing the same. So read it aloud. Uzi Uzi was a beer. Sakur, ma'am. Yes. Uzi Uzi was a beer. Uzi Uzi had no fuzzy hair. Fuzzy Wazi. It's Uzi Fuzzy Wazi. Fuzzy Wazi was, was a bear. Fuzzy Wazi had. Sorry, ma'am. Fuzzy Wazi. Okay. Fuzzy Wazi wasn't fuzzy, was he? Fazi Wazi was a beard. Fazi Wazi had no hair. Fazi Wazi had not Fazi was he. Okay, next. Yeah. Mim Sejal here. Yes. Can you can a can as a canner? Can can a can? Can you can a can as a canner? A can can a canner? Can you can a can as a canner? Can can a can? Can you can a canner? As a canner, can can a can? Nabila Begumayma. I'm read. Yes, Nabila. Can you can? Can you can a can as a canner? Can can a can? Can you can as a canner as a canner? Can can a can? Can you can a can as a canner? Can can a can? May I read, ma'am? Yes. I have got a date at a quarter to eight. I will see you at the gate, so don't be late. I have got a date at a qu quarter to eight. I will see you. I, I will see you at the gate, so don't be late. I have got a date at a quarter to eight. I will see you at the gate, so don't be late. I have got a date at a quarter to eight. I will see you at the gate, so don't be late. I have got a date at a quarter to eight. I will see you at the gate, so don't be late. Five. Yes. Anyone left? Ma'am Rani. Yes. 
you know new york you need new york you know you need unique new york you know new york you need new york you know you need new unique new york you know new york you need new york you know you need unique new york you know new york you need new york you know you need unique new york you know new york you need new york you know you need unique new york you know new york you need new york you know you need unique new york you know new york you need new york you know you need unique new york very good okay so how was it did you all enjoy <coughs> very interesting okay so now we are going to learn the new word for the day and the new word for the day is adorn and the meaning is make more attractive okay by adding something okay like for example if you add some color or you uh, put some ornaments so you are adding and making it more attractive okay so making more attractive that's the meaning okay so sentence can be um he or she okay adorn adorn sorry okay walls okay by painting okay so you all have to make a sentence in the chat box okay you you adorn something yes i adorn peanuts in the cake okay you adorn the cake by adding peanuts got it suji you adorn the cake by adding peanuts you are making it more beautiful Okay. I made, okay. I made a paper peacock to make to make it adorning. Adorn is a verb. Okay. To adorn. Seema, are you getting my point? I made a paper peacock to adorn. I use some glitter. Uh, Ma'am, can you uh, write it down, please? I adorn. I adorn paper peacock by. putting some glitter and kundan okay my dress will be adorned ed when i will wear it very good so uh, mohan adorns a project i adorn my son good vocabulary adorns english language okay yes please make a sentence everyone you can google always keep your phones like you should have the habit of finding out on google google is your best friend okay she had dance cake by crafting okay have the have that habit in you to search and google will help you okay she please everyone should write one sentence i'm waiting for everyone in rainy season nature is adorned you can say in rainy season nature is adorned she likes to adorn herself with jewels okay my daughter adorns her drawings with different colors okay okay so let's come to the idiom of the day we are learning one new day and one idiom every day so today's idiom is very simple hit the road now hit the road what is mean to depart from somewhere okay to leave from somewhere hit the road i am all set to hit the road okay we would better pack the car and hit the road before it gets dark raat hone se pehle we will hit the road hum nikal jayenge so hit the road means depart so all of you quickly write in the chat box because unless you don't use idioms and new words you will not remember them 
uh, I adorn my yoga by using props. Okay. Hit the road. I want you to make the sentence. Hit the road. I'll read out your sentences. Please write in the chat box. We should hit the road before night. The thieves hit the road before the cop arrived. Okay, Mega arrived. Uh, James hit the road before the flight. Okay, very good. Okay, so these are the... Um, sentences by everyone we hit the road is there anyone who has given any sentence we should hit the road ba to bangalore by 9 pm the children should hit the road before exams okay okay i think uh, the meaning is clear to everyone and so now is the time when we will learn something new different ways now very often you complement each other right so uh, it's a very good habit to keep complimenting others and give, making the day special for them. So how would you compliment uh, a girl or a lady? How would you compliment? The best compliment a lady or a girl what wants to hear? What is the best yes. compliment? How you are looking beautiful. Looking, beautiful. Exactly. looking beautiful. Yes. Looking beautiful. So most of you are saying the same thing, looking beautiful, beautiful, but there can be different ways to say the same thing. Okay. So, Adorable. You look gorgeous. How beautiful gorgeous. you look. Okay. <laughs> we'll just read out these. I have shared the screen. You look drop dead gorgeous, elegant. I think you're the most beautiful in the world. Cute, you're very pretty. Yeah, I think you're really stunning. Cute. You look hot. You look gorgeous. You're beyond gorgeous. You look so radiant. I can't take up, take my eyes off of you. Divine, magnificent, pleasing, beauteous. I love the way you look today. You have looks to die for. You look as pretty as always. You are heavenly, fascinating. Watching you is like listening to angels sing. You look fine. You look absolutely fantastic, exquisite. Grand, good looking, alluring. You are so adorable. I've never seen anyone as beautiful as you. You make my heart melt. Your beauty is incomparable. Your smile melts my heart. Lovely, dazzling. Wow, you're gorgeous, delightful. If he, if he's a boy, you can say um, handsome. I think you're very attractive. I think you're good looking, appealing, grand, charming, pretty, splendid and graceful. So you have to learn different ways to compliment each other. So now let us all compliment each other and make the day special for each other. Just now we have learned so many ways. You are so elegant. Today you look so pretty. Everyone has to speak something about everyone, not just for me, but for everyone here in the class. Okay. You make my heart melt. You, you, my heart. You, can, you, can, you can give the compliment to the class. Graceful. To all, graceful. The beautiful, all the beautiful girls, I would say, all the beautiful girls sitting here. You all look beautiful. You all look gorgeous with this way. Ma'am, uh, I girl? like the way you present the uh, you present your presentation. Graceful. <laughs> seriously thank you. thank you Arti thank you so and I like your hair also haircut is really awesome <laughs> I I, I uh, every day I look at my old pictures and I see my long hair but she had I, long hair like I know you hair. donate for a, such a very good cause but you look very pretty in your hair but like your <laughs> haircut is really very good thank you so much uh, that's uh, you have made my day special. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, so time is over and let's meet, let's catch up tomorrow. One thing, which 
I need friends yeah. who all is putting the feedback in the group because I really want people to come to this class. It's just free and they are missing it. I want more and more people to join in so that they can actually learn, which is very important. Learning English is very important these days. So after the class, take a minute to just uh, drop a feedback and please share the link of the group with as many people as you can so that uh, others can also get the benefit. I just want to say one thing, ma'am. I don't have a link. I just check your uh, group and I asked you. Me. Yes, yes, yes. Is it a daily? Uh, yes. This class is all held on a daily basis. Yes. At what time? We are going to take this for three months. Today okay. Per day. And we are going to take it for three months. Every day. Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. Uh, timing, ma'am? Yes. 2 huh. to 3 p.m. to 3 p.m. It is a uh, grammar. And 3 to 3.30 okay. p.m., it's all about conversations, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. I really... Okay, take care. Bye-bye. See you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.